Okay, for those of you that want to know how cold it is here, that's how cold it is. Hi guys! So this is December 15th. This is a race against time right now because it is 9.30. I'm going to try to get this video up and posted before midnight. So it's a race. Um, I just wanted to show you um, I got progress on the panda. All the pieces are done. I just got to sew it together. My finger hurts like an SOB and um, I got appointment with my doctor tomorrow. Only took three months to get in, but we got it in. Um, I am going to bag this up and um, get that ready for shipping. That sold on eBay for $4. So it's just a stretch ring, but it's a pretty significant and heavy, heavy duty. I think it's um, probably enamel, but I took like a million pictures, so <laughs> it's just super cute. But anyway, so somebody bought that. I need to get it shipped. Like they bought it yesterday and I didn't get it shipped today because I was working on the panda that also needs to get done. and. So anyway, that's going to go in the mail right away tomorrow. Um, I did, oops, I got Mickey listed. He's part of my um, listing challenge with Dominic or Primetime Treasure. Um, I did test him and he totally works and he sings and he dances. He like twirls and his arms go up and down and then he bends over and he's doing the hot diggity dog dance. Oh my god, it's so cute. So... He's listed. Hopefully he'll sell. If not, I'll probably give him to my girlfriend who is pregnant and um, has just a little baby boy too. So so there's Mickey. Um, I listed the baseball game today and um, I listed this, which I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is brand new sealed in package. Um... I don't play games, so I don't play console games at all. Like, the different games uh, makes me dizzy. Or, like, say when I'm watching the Treasure Husters or Dumpster Divers and um, they're going all over the place. Or even my, my video of the um, antique store. All that moving around makes me very dizzy. I don't know why. but So, I never really got into games because I always got sick playing them. But, anyway, besides the point, new in package sealed um 2007 so it's only got a little bit of a damage there but otherwise that is up so um if you don't if you guys don't know um dominic has a youtube channel he's um prime time treasure treasures and then um his e his um, facebook page is reselling resource center for ebay etsy amazon fba poshmark etc so you guys can join that if you're a reseller. Um, I have not tested the gorilla yet or this monkey. This one I showed you guys. Um, I need size C batteries so I have to go get those just to test him. I'm not going to mail it out with batteries but just to test him. So let's move on to the panda because that's what you guys really want to see, right? Okay. So I got, if you watched my live last night... I got the head and the body done. So those are done. Um, again, you can see how big it's going to be. Um, there's an arm. <laughs> I should have pinned it together, but um, I didn't get that far. So there's the arms. You can see about how long they're going to carry down. Um, so I got all these done today. I was really, really focused. Um, I didn't even have Facebook on really at all. Um, so I got two legs done. They're done. Um, and like I said, instead of doing the fleece, I did the just the, the same number of stitches to get it to the right amount. So I got that. I got the two eyes done. I have not got the eye patches done because I'm not sure if I'm going to put those on there. 
or not. Um, but there's two ears, a tail, and a muzzle. And this is what you put. Um, it's in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. So many pieces. Let's see. Well, it was in here. Um, there's a nose piece, a little nose muzzle piece, too. It probably fell out of my bag. But, anyway. Oh, I don't know. It probably fell. So, I got all those pieces done today. Now I just have to sew them. I don't know if I'm going to stay up and sew them while this video posts or not. Because, like I said, Dr. Tomorrow... I have to do a mammogram check because it's that time of year and um, I need to get my thyroid check probably so I'll take blood and um, for sure I have to get these fingers looked at and probably my ankle so I don't know if it's like um, rheumatoid or um, I don't know but it, it hurts and it continues to hurt and it's not you know how like carpal tunnel you get hurt up here it's not it doesn't I don't feel it here it's all joint related and you can just see how big that is today but yeah so that's my plan to ask her what's going on and then obviously address the monkey in the room which is my weight which is extremely I've never been this high in my life and every which way I look there's extra here and my arms and everywhere it's just it's not doing very well for my psyche um and then my mom called today and she formally let us know that we're not having christmas so that put a damper in my in my my christmas spirit <laughs> i was hoping um beyond hope that we would actually get to get together but it appears that that is not an option, so, um, and I don't blame her, and I don't blame my mom and dad for that, it's just, it's just hard, and it's hard to explain to the kids, um, I mean, I'm a kid, I'm their kid, it's hard for me not to be around them, so, somehow we'll have to figure it out for our kids and make sure that, um, we do something special. And uh, we plan on FaceTiming Grandma and Grandpa so they can open their presents in front of them. It's just going to be very loud and distracting and not, you know, like, I mean, I guess I could try to do one at a time separately, but you know how kids are with presents. They just kind of open. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess we could FaceTime them and then I could do a video, you know, like for, you know, Vlogmas or whatever, but it just um, seems like it's going to be very noisy. And their connection and my connection aren't always the best together, so we'll see. So anyway, um, and I know I'm feeling sorry for myself, and I feel bad that I'm feeling sorry for myself when there's other people out there who have lost family, and they, you know, don't have them here anymore. So I, um, I feel bad for feeling bad. <laughs> um, so... For all of, the, of those of you that have lost somebody this year, whether it was from COVID or something else, um, my heart goes out to you, and um, I will say some extra prayers for you, because I know losing somebody for the holiday season is the worst. It is that first year after losing somebody is, is super hard, and um, honestly, it doesn't get any easier, because you still see that empty chair, um, you still have those songs that come up, you still have those special memories or the special scents, so, but those I think are just reminders of them, um, and their time here, so, anyway, sorry to end that on a somber note, but, um, it's December 15th, this is Vlogmas, and we will see you guys tomorrow.